creatures that I've never seen before and they're doing all kinds of who knows if it's like or if it's you know all kinds of stuff Interesting. I'd like to share with you a little game called Cavern of the Mind my mind happens to look like a cavern so that's why I'm calling it Cavern of the Mind but you could call it Palace of the Mind you could call it Office Building of the Mind or so like in your mind what does that look like the sort of central area where you can direct yourself to all the other smaller side areas. So for me, it looks like a big underground cave that's huge and vast and I can't see the ceiling and it's got all the stalactites and stalagmites. Um, there's like glowing pools of mysterious liquid. There are like rivers and there's rocks and slime, you know, like an underground cavern. So anyway, in there, I'm aware that there are all these different tunnels and all these different pathways and there's ladders and there's staircases and those all correspond that's like in my mind they go places like oh this takes me down memory lane or this takes me to a little room where there's a chest inside I open the chest and there's hope and it's like ah, oh. or you know this crawl space goes down into a fear of death you know it could be anything there's old memories nightmares and peak experiences uh, all of our emotions, mental concepts. Um, so yeah, it's like it could be a palace. You could do the palace of the mind, however you want to picture it. So for me, it's a cave. And what I do is, is I close my eyes and I go into the cave. And then I just use my body, my senses to kind of feel, well, where do I want, what's calling me? What direction should I explore? So I'm, I'm imagining it and I say, okay, let's go this way. Let's go that. Oh yeah, there's this tunnel. Uh, if I turn around and look to the right, there's a tunnel back there that's, that feels interesting today. Okay, so let's try that. I turn around, do, 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 do. Um, so I'm gonna climb up this little wooden rope kind of staircase thing, do, 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 hop in the tunnel. All right, so here we are. Going down this, this particular tunnel is like, Whoa, it's, it's like this purple and yellow conveyor belt, but instead of a belt, it's more like magical glowing sheets of something. And they kind of just go way down the tunnel. And I feel like if I hop in this particular tunnel, it's gonna go fast. Like I get in, it pulls me in, but then once I'm in, it's super slow. It's almost like I'm suspended in animation. Weird. So to the outside observer, I might be going a million miles an hour, but now I'm actually slowed down in this space so that I can look to the side and see all of the rooms um, that are passing me by. And they're, they're numbered 100,092, 100,094, 100, okay, apparently they're even numbers, 100,096. Um, so I don't know what this corresponds to, but it's like, obviously there's if there's we're in the hundred thousands there's a lot of whatever this is so let's just see oh wow okay so this is this is pretty weird like so i'm going on this weird conveyor belt thing and since i'm going so slow i can kind of peek in each they're like these little archway doors and i i look in one and it's like crazy weird stuff going on in there there's like what are those paintings like hieronymus bosch there's kinds of weird like creatures that I've never seen before and they're doing all kinds of who knows if it's like orgies or if it's you know all kinds of stuff in just in that one room that I saw which was on the other side uh, which is one of the odd numbered rooms like 100,000 like 91 and that's just one room right so the next room I go oh wow there's a room that's like full of snow it's just it's like opening out into a, a winter landscape that's just snow it's just as far as you can see it's just snow and you can see little bits of the snow kind of like coming through the doorway, spilling out. Okay, that's just the next one. Um, looking on to the other side. Um, <laughs> some weird room with like these weird plastic, like plastic little like carts that, that are children size that you can roll around and they have like four little wheels, but the faces are these, they're plastic and they're these big like round googly eyes and like these long noses and they're these just weird little scooter carts that you can just drive around on. So it's super, this is a super random tunnel. I've never been in one like this before. Um, I'm going to just keep going and see a couple more because this is very entertaining. Um, ooh, 
yo, we don't want to go in that one. There's there's a room with a guillotine in it. <laughs> Forget that. Uh, one of the, not a guillotine that goes down, but one of those like it's like hanging from a a chain, and it's like a sharp blade that's just. <laughs> All right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Skip that. Let's go. Okay, here's a room with like a shepherd and a bunch of sheep. That's fine. Okay, a lot of random stuff. I don't see the connection here, but maybe you do. I don't. Um, what's over here? Interesting. Modern military like tanks and 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 artillery in this room over here. I'm just looking back over to the odd numbers. Go back over to the other side. What do we have? Here's a room with alchemists making potions and stuff out of like green bubbling goop. It's just all over the place. This is so random. What else do we have? <laughs> American football? Like what? This is the weirdest fucking tunnel. There's so many different things in here that just don't make any sense. Um. Oh, interesting. There's like a micro room where you're like down in like the carpet or something. It's like strands of what you're like super mini. It's like it shrinks you down kind of like honey. I shrunk the kids micro machines. Interesting. Okay, so that's like a shrinking room like a bug's life. Does is, I didn't see that, but I think they shrink in that. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're very fancy, you know, there's there's some sort of resplendent, like, biblical king-like figure with, like, golden light shining out from... So, so many things. Um, so I don't know if this tunnel is just, like, where I throw all this random crap that, like, I have no idea what else to do with it. Just hundreds of thousands of different themes and ideas, but... But, it, but just to think, and I'm still aware of the fact that even though, so it must be a very long, a very large, long tunnel, a large space, because if the rooms are numbered hundreds of thousands, and you know, I know that I'm going by in super slow motion, I can see each room, whereas normally, to an outside perspective, it's just, it just, it feels overwhelming, you can never see all of it, you know what I mean? So this is interesting. I'm going to keep this one remembered. So one of the, one of the things I'll just come out of this right now, one of the things to note is like, I've only done this exploration a handful of times and I've always seen really different things and the tunnels and the caves and the rooms have always been very different. Um, sometimes it's just one room and it's just one thing in there. Um, sometimes there's nothing in there, but it's just very visual. In any case, this sort of imagination technique for me is a way to try to get to know what's going on in here. Um, in a way that's not usually accessible to me because I don't really think about things during my day. I don't really have imagination or visualization. Um, and in fact, when I'm doing this, I actually can't see anything at all. Uh, it's just ideas in my mind because I don't actually see like clear images usually when I'm trying to imagine. So you don't need to be able to even if you think, oh, I can't do imagination, you still might be able to do this because that's, it works for me like that. So anyway, well, I'm just gonna, yeah, it's good to know that that's there. So I guess if I ever need ideas of things, I can just hop right in that tunnel and there's hundreds of thousands of ideas just waiting to be observed. Um, fascinating, that's quite interesting. The mind is a powerful, powerful tool, and I don't even think I have the beginnings of understanding of how to use it or what's available, you know, what all is in there. Um, who knows if I'm accessing any, anything? Who knows what? It doesn't really matter what it is, to be honest with you. Who cares? If I can see things and I can name them, good enough for me. Um, not trying to build like a theory of what the mind is and how it works. I'm just playing around and seeing what I can see, you know? So anyway, I'm not sure if I explained it well enough in the beginning, but feel free to try it out. So what I would say is if you're interested in exploring your mind in this way, um, just close your eyes and try to imagine the feeling of being in your mind. 
the feeling of you know your your home space where where you kind of sit most of the time you know we all and we all feel like different places in our bodies like i usually feel like i'm here right some people might feel like they're in their chest or in their stomach or maybe in their foot or you know it could be anything but so i kind of feel like i'm here and when i get into it i see i just see this cavern so yeah you might see some other thing but i think the point is that it's a structure it's some kind of structure that has an organization to it in the sense that you can travel down different pathways which not saying this is accurate in any way but it's kind of like how your mind your brain your physical brain has neuronal pathways and that there are literally fibers and neurons that make up like little roads and highways that connect all these different parts of your brain. Some of those pathways are really small and untraveled and some of them are like super highways. So I'm not saying that that has anything to do with this imagination exercise, but it's just the same concept of like different locations and connections between those places. So anyway, I'll try to do a better job of explaining it next time because I don't know if I did that very well, but it makes sense to me in my mind, so. All right. That's it for now.